Do you all remember when I said this a few months ago? So there are very few reasons in my opinion to be up on a Sunday before 8 a.m. But I think we have a really good one. There are even lesser reasons to be up before 6 a.m. on a Sunday. But today we're going to be exploring two of them. Remember when I said we would be exploring two nice things today? The first thing is already happening. It's before 7 a.m. and I'm here at Benauli Beach, which is pretty much my favorite beach ever. I really like coming here, though it's not the closest beach to me, but it's just one of the nicer ones. And I believe this is the earliest I've ever been to the beach in my entire life. This is just not a morning person. I only could come because, you know, Nathan was coming. I think when you have somebody already doing those things and then you commit to accompanying the person, then there's a little bit of accountability and that's what helped me wake up so early. But I'm always really happy when I do things in the morning once I get over that sleepiness. Nathan's off to his walk and it's time for me to get my toes wet. There are a surprising number of people which I think it's like the sweet spot because it's not at all crowded but at the same time you're not going to feel too freaked out or it's not going to feel very lonely. I am... Ooh! It looks like they're taking a boat out. Okay. I am just chilling in one area. I already made a new friend. That guy. He was so immediately affectionate with me but then he realized I don't have any food and now he's just off there. The 
is this particular dog like see the brown dog with the black snout doesn't he look like scooby doo you look like scooby doo i know you're not a great dane but i feel like you 100% look like ah oh! <laughs> come on tell me i'm wrong and you who are you and who are you they're very sweet and friendly so pretty Chalo, enough musty, I guess. I wore sporty clothes, so it's time to actually get a walk in because you know it's so nice. So there's only so long I can get distracted by doggies. Well, I'm a bit like Velma right now. I didn't wear my glasses, and I definitely cannot see in the distance without them. If you're thinking that the sky looks a little bit dull, apparently it rained last night near Nathan's place, which is a little bit further off from here than mine. I didn't realize it rained but he says there was like a thunderstorm and everything we are so fed up of the heat here that a few days of rain would be good even if it's temporary respite yet this is it for me i'm going to be heading back to our starting point i really want to sit down it's so nice where i am right now but this patch of beach is a little too secluded and it being the daytime doesn't necessarily inspire a lot of confidence so i'm going to get back to where more people are right now While I did a cool just under two kilometers, let's ask Nathan how much he walked. Seven and a half. That too in just an hour, but. Hour and a half. Let's be clear. <laughs> okay, a little over an hour, uh, which is quite impressive, I think. But it really is very nice at the beach at this time. Super pleasant and just, just lovely. Like all good things. Now, where are we heading, Nathan? We are going to this place called Dina's for breakfast. So there's like a small cafe along the beach to Bena along the road to Benaulim Beach. So nothing fancy, just eggs and sandwiches and I'm getting the avocado toast but that's just me. <laughs> I've never actually been there. I've seen some videos about it and when Nathan said it's like his Sunday ritual, uh, that's when I actually asked him that I would like to tag along so I'm also pretty excited. <laughs> One of your favorite things here, no? The French press. French press. Do you get the same breakfast every time? Uh, coffee, yes. The food, sometimes I mix it up, sometimes I get an omelette, sometimes a sandwich. The last two, three times I've been getting the avocado and toast. That's nice. I love this because it's 90 bucks for the pot and I get two cups of coffee out of it. <laughs> Lovely. And nowhere else can you say you get coffee that cheap. It is, it is. I, I saw some videos about the place and I really like all of the art, like the welcome and the little French press. So now during this time and then it's mostly going to be local people who come here. So around uh, 9 o'clock after mass people will start coming here for breakfast. But if you come during like the tourist season, uh -huh. it's back to the tourist season. <laughs> like you come start coming around. When's September. the tourist season? Uh, usually it starts from September, October up till about 
February, March. Okay. So peak is December, January. I wasn't feeling like getting something hot and they don't really have fancy coffees here. It's basic stuff. So instead, I thought it might be fun to get an avocado milkshake. Funny thing I always find about avocados is, especially when millennials were a little younger, it gained this reputation as being this hipster food that was too expensive and all of that. Uh, but people who have visited South India know that avocados were always a thing there. And of course, the Indian avocados were a little bit different than the imported ones, which are now more pervasive in the market. When I visited Chennai a really long time ago, I think it was almost a decade ago or like, quite a while ago. I was having avocado milkshakes there every day and they just call it butter fruit there. That was the local name for it. And that's why I know this is absolutely going to slap. Ah. I feel like it's a little bit raw, but yummy. Avocados are not technically in season. Mm -hmm. I got a grilled ham and cheese sandwich, which <laughs> looks quite good. Uh, I didn't charge my camera properly, so now we are vlogging on my phone. Yummy. That was a really wholesome way to spend my Sunday morning and I'm really glad I did it. We'd been planning to do it for some time but every Sunday something or the other would come up and it's also very wild to think that I got home at around 9.30 after spending several hours outside and on most days I wake up after that time but I can 100% see the value of going out early on some days like this and I think it's not even fully sunk in with me that I live really close to like beautiful beaches and there are such nice cafes around that I can have experiences like this more often. I don't need to be doing it so rarely. I also enjoyed my first time at Dina's. I think it was a really cute place. While the food was not your typical fancy cafe fare, at the same time it was fairly affordable and there was a reasonably sized menu. Our food also came quite quickly and if you want to try different options, Dina's is basically a stone's throw away from Hari's German Bakery which is one of my favorite cafes where I always take my friends or I go there when I'm alone. On the whole, Benauli has a lot of cute places to eat and unlike with big cities, most of the cafes and restaurants here are actually small family owned businesses. So you really do get the best vibes when you go there. Let me know what place I should check out next and I will see you guys next time.